Hi everyone, in this video I will be fixing Grub. I have a single hard drive with Ubuntu and Windows installed, but when I boot my computer it goes straight into Windows. There's no Grub menu and there's no EFI entry either. So I will be fixing both of these. And I'm going into disk management. So I have here my C drive, this is Windows, and then my 24 gigabyte partition. So this is where Ubuntu resides. And we open up a command prompt as an administrator and type in bcd edit forward slash enum firmware and then we scroll up and then we got the firmware boot manager and it displays the order and then here's the windows boot manager and then there's a ufi entry for the network and then one here for the SCSI device and another here for a SCSI device but there's none here for ubuntu linux so we're going to put that in here to fix this and to get started, we're going to boot into the Ubuntu install media. I am using the Ubuntu 22.04.3 desktop ISO image. We pick try or install Ubuntu. And then when you get the install window here, go to try Ubuntu. Now I'm going to open up a terminal. And now I'm going to sudo sun, and I'm going to type in fdisk-l, and this will show my partition structure. So slash dev slash sda is my drive, and then we can see here the EFI partition is on sda1, and then my Windows C drive sda3, and then there's my Linux file system sda5. So I'm going to be mounting sda1 and sda5 under the mount directory. Next, I'm going to be mounting slash dev slash proc slash sys slash run under the mount directory as well. Now I'm going to true root into the mount directory. And now I'm going to do a grub install under slash dev slash sda. Now, if you get this message about the warning, EFI variables cannot be set on this system. So that means that you'll just have to mount them first so that they're available. And now I'll do the grub install again. So it has been installed. Now I'm going to do an update dash grub. All right. And so we can see here it's found the Linux images and it's found the Windows boot manager as well. And it's added in a boot menu entry for the UFI firmware settings. So if I go to EFI boot manager and we see here at the bottom, Ubuntu is now there. The boot order is 0004. So then it's going to be booting that. And if I want to get some more information, I can go to if I boot manager dash V and we can see here it's going to boot 0004 Ubuntu. And then we can see here that this is the GPT GUID for this partition here. And then this is the file that it is going to load. So now I'm going to exit and then now I am going to reboot. Okay, so we can see here that Grub comes up and there's Ubuntu and then there's the Windows Boot Manager. So I'm going to boot into Windows. All right, so it's booted into Windows and then I'm just going to do another reboot and then load up Ubuntu just to make sure that it works as well. All right, picking Ubuntu. So it's working as expected. So that's it. That's how you can fix your Grub. So you can dual boot Windows and Ubuntu again. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.